Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. A tight knit community is heartbroken tonight after a father shot and killed a burglar only to find out it was his own son. It happened in New Fairfield. Police say the victim was trying to break into his aunt's house on Meeting House Hill Circle. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in New Fairfield tonight with more on this very tragic case. Bob? Yeah, the story is already making national headlines. Police say a father shoots his own son, and tonight the community mourning. It's horrendous, and I would just encourage everyone to really pray for this family. Word spreads quickly through New Fairfield as the crime scene tape goes up on Meeting House Hill Circle. Early this morning, a woman called her brother who lives next door and told her that someone was breaking into her house. Jeffrey Giuliani got his gun and went outside to investigate. Once outside, he saw someone wearing all black with a ski mask, and he was holding a shiny object. Giuliano told police he thought he was about to be attacked, so he fired his gun. When police pulled off the mask, the father discovered the unthinkable. He had shot his own son. I am a pastor, my, and we deal with people all the time who are facing hard situations. But this, my heart just breaks for the family, for everyone involved. Police have identified the burglar as 15-year-old Tyler Giuliano. He was not only dressed in all black, but he had burglar tools on him as well as a weapon. It's important to note that this investigation is still ongoing. Uh, but it is not related to any other previous incidents that may have occurred in the community uh, of New Fairfield. Troopers are not seeking any other individuals relative to this particular incident. Oh, this is just so upsetting on so many different levels that, uh, you know, a town like this was small, close-knit. Everyone's devastated for, for so many different reasons. Police say there was evidence that Juliana was trying to break into his aunt's home and they did recover a weapon at the scene. Right now, police are saying the shooting was self-defense. We are going to take care of the families. We've locked down that street. We, we, want, we want them to, to have their time. There are only nine houses on the block. We want them to have their time to go through what they need to go through. And tomorrow there will be grief counselors at the school to help students through the loss of 15-year-old Tyler. I'm Bob Wills reporting live in New Fairfield News 8.